During our Eagles pregame show, Bob, we do a segment called Where Are They Now? Uh, in coordination and collaboration with Ken Dunnick and the Jersey Man magazine. And this week, let's go to the Barb's Harley-Davidson Sports Hotline and welcome into the locker room former Eagle tight end Luther Broughton. What's up, Luther? Hey, man, what's happening? What's going on, gentlemen? We're, uh, we're in a three-point stance here up on the boardwalk in Ocean City getting ready for our Eagles game. Oh, man, Eagles, Eagles, Eagles and Cowboys beat. Is, uh, I bet it's, it's, it's stoked out there right now, isn't it? Uh, Luther, you played in a couple of these games. Talk about the intensity of the week leading up to the uh, Eagles-Cowboys rivalry. It's, uh, it's really unexplainable, man. Uh, coming out of uh, college, me, small college guy, you have, have the rivalry week. And it's really exciting, and, and practice is intense. Coaches are, are, are like, you know, just hot-headed all week. But then when you get to the Eagles, and you get to Dallas, Dallas week, like, I didn't realize, like, I remember my rookie year, the first Dallas week, I was like, what the hell? This is nuts. <laughs> like, this is like, this is like a playoff game this week three, like, it's, it's, it's unexplainable, but it's it's the best thing in the world, man, being able to play in a rivalry game uh, in the NFL, Dallas, Philly. Nothing like it, man. Nothing like it. Hey, Luther, it's Ken. Thanks for jumping on with us. Uh, talk to us about your Eagles experience. Now, you were on the team in the early 90s, I believe, and you came from the uh, Carolina Panthers. What was it, the difference between playing for the Eagles and Panthers and Talk about some of your teammates and experiences you had as an Eagle. Okay, yeah, man, it was actually late 90s. I got drafted by the Eagles in 97. And then I went to the Panthers late, late that season and spent one year with the Panthers. Then I got traded back to the Eagles that next, very next season, two, two more years. As a free agent, I ended up signing back with the Panthers. But the difference in the teams were, in the fan bases and everything, was like night and day. At the time, the Panthers were still, they're still new, but they were relatively new then. It was probably about 10 years in, maybe not even 10 years. And I came from the Eagles franchise, you know? Uh, all, uh, just, you, you know how, you know, I don't even have to explain the fan base. When I left, when I was in Philly, we were, I think we were like 3 and 12 or something like that. It snowed all week. And you get to the stadium, and it's packed. <laughs> yeah. it snowed, and we got, we got booed, but it was packed. <laughs> you get to Carolina, the next year I, I was out of football, I get to Carolina, the Panthers were 12 and 4. I think they were the one seed in the NFC in the playoffs. It drizzled. On a Saturday night for a home playoff game, and the stadium was half full. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Down in Carolina. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing, the difference. Now, things have changed. The, the fan base has gotten better. Again, we were talking about a relatively new franchise, right? So there's no comparison. However, a huge difference in the Panthers and Eagles at the time was the facilities. The, the vet was a Pizza, you know what? <laughs> so I come from. Hey, easy I now. We like the vet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I love the vet. It's a secret weapon, and it's where I, I, I cut my teeth, right? So I get to the Eagles after getting drafted, and I walk in the locker room, and I'm thinking, okay, I went from college to pro. This place is going to be fantastic. And you walk in the vet, and the shower's not even as big as my shower. <laughs> <laughs> the drainage system sucked where it, like, filled up in the corner of the shower. It was disgusting. The Panthers had a new stadium when I got there, and everything was brand new and awesome. So there are stark differences on both sides of the table, man, and it was, uh, it was crazy. It was... Uh, it was a hell of an experience, but it was awesome. Hey, Luther, there was cats and rats at the vet, but we used to funnel them into the visitors' locker room oh for you guys. So. Dude, they used to – I remember the coaches would have – or I don't know if it was the coaches or the staff, they would they would uh, bring cats. 
cats in there. Cats live down there in the vet. So they, yeah, well, they, they, they ate the rats. Uh, they had a purpose. The ate the rats. <laughs> they ate the rats. They yeah. ate the rats. And it was the greatest home the field advantage of any stadium high. I've ever seen, the vet. Nobody oh, wanted no to go doubt. there. All right, so it's our Where Are They Now segment, no, Luther, and uh, we want to find out what are you doing with yourself now? Where do you live, and what are you doing now to keep yourself busy? All uh, right, you know, uh, well, maybe you don't know. I'm a South Carolina kid, and I ended up moving back to the Carolinas. I lived in Charlotte for years, and now I live in South Carolina, but it's literally, I'm literally four miles from the border of Charlotte from Charlotte, North Carolina to Fort Mill. I live in Fort Mill, South Carolina. I've been in the mortgage industry pretty much since I left football, man. And I'm still, I've, I've done many different things. I've, I've flipped some homes. I've done origination. I've done been a loan officer. Now I'm on the uh, operation side, and I'm doing underwriting and leading. So I've done this since I left football. I love it. It pays me pretty well and I know it well so it's no long it's not work and, and I like it so I'll tell you what your timing's good work. though because uh the, the population's growing down there since you played they added a high rise down there that's probably why the stadium's starting to fill up like the population's <laughs> growing down there so you your timing's perfect for uh, real estate yeah you know we, we've got probably one or two high rises in the metropolis <laughs> We're talking with former tight end Luther Brockton. He played with the Eagles from what ninety nine to uh, two thousand. And uh, do you get a chance to uh, follow the Eagles uh, down there in South Carolina, dude? I, I am officially like I'm a huge fan now. I'm, I'm like one of the great. I'm, like people will ask me like football advice for fantasy and this, that, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm like you right now. I'm a fan. Yeah. But yes, I do follow the Eagles. I am a huge fan. I, this year I haven't, but I get you know, up. My uncle still lives in Philly, so I get up quite a bit. Um, COVID has uh, limited my travel, but um, I have been um, a huge fan ever since I left Game. I love the Eagles, and uh, I, I still like Carolina. They're one A and one B. Yeah, you Carolina played for them, right? So you know, yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's good. Local team. I can tell you this: Luther always comes back for the Eagles alumni events, and uh, it's always great to see him. Hey, Luther, talk to me a little bit about a guy I played three years with in the USFL, Sam Mills, and the influence that he had uh, with the Panthers uh, back then. Oh, man, I was there with Sam uh, the one season when I came back. And, uh, man, he is, uh, you can't say enough about how how much of a good guy he was. You you can't, it, it was so sad when he heard he, was, uh, he had terminal cancer. Um, I don't even know what to say. The guy was such a leader, such a good guy. He treated everyone fair and sane. And, man, it, it, it was tough. It's, it's, it's still tough to, to think about because he was only he was not that much older than me. And, and he's gone, you know? Yeah, he, there's it's a stadium. Uh, uh, there's, there's a statue of Sam, obviously, outside of uh, Bank of America Stadium down there in Charlotte. And I'll say this about Sam. I played against some pretty good players in practice and games, Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White. The hardest-hitting player I ever saw play football was Sam Mills. Wow. That's saying a lot there. That's saying a lot, man. That's unbelievable. Wow. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. 5'9", 235, and uh, he he would hit you, and it would sound like thunder. I mean, it, it, it was amazing. Well, Luther, man, listen, we really appreciate you taking time out to talk to us today on Eagles, our Eagles pregame show and our Where Are They Now segment. It was good to catch up with you, and uh, and uh, let's go birds tonight. Let's beat those Cowboys. Go birds, baby. Go birds. Go birds. All right, Thanks, Luther. Luther. Thank you, Luther. There's Luther Brockton, Bob, and the uh, Barb's Harley Davidson Sports Highline. Ken, in coordination with Ken Dunnick and the Jersey Man Magazine.